Air clarity here is just amazing. So there's mountains all the way along the whole periphery of this property that you can see. That rock is 25 feet long. Pockets of water that kind of go up into this little cave area down here. I'd say the water was just coming out of the ground here. Originally, we just diverted it. This finger that comes out here, and this finger here, all one rock. This water quality just stays amazing throughout the season. So this is, we're on our way to see Mike and Mary Van Buren, and they included some pictures, and I guess these are sketches that they created, so they built the house and the pond kind of right at the same time, 2012, huh? They did. They kind of uh, contacted wow. me during the construction of the home, because they knew at that time that they wanted a water feature. Oh, I love the view from inside the house, so nice, up close and personal, like all of them. View from the living space. Indeed, yeah. 2011 actually, right when they moved in, they got the pond on at the same time. All right, let's go check out another beautiful aquascape ecosystem pond with Sean Frost out in what, what part of Vermont? This is in uh, Heartland of Vermont. All right. So as a stone guy, I just love all of the stone. It just comes from the property, right? It does, yeah. So this is 2011, right here. This when this house was built in 2010, and here we go. We got the water feature probably 10 feet outside the front door steps. It starts over. So this is the rock you were That's saying. That big mud ball. So that was actually dug up when you were doing the excavation, and then you from used the foundation. it. foundation. You use it, put it as a fountain up top. Yep. That's actually a stone. And it see the holes all through it? It looks like almost like wood, like petrified wood. Look at that. That is cool. Way to incorporate it, buddy. Oh, I love all of the ferns in here. What a neat upper pool. Okay, so up there is where yeah. it starts. But man, what a cool waterfall with this moss. Oh, it just keeps going. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, and this awesome room overlooks it. I gotta get a view. Man, look at that weeping. Willow, what is that? That's a weeping birch. Birch tree, a birch tree. Yes, that is awesome there. And of course, that was planted when you built it probably. Yeah, right after. Look at these ledge rocks. I mean, these are huge. So was this an existing slab that was here? No, these are all things that we added in here. These are all rocks that were excavated when they excavated the foundation. See this big slab here? Wow, what is that way? So I'm not sure of the weight of it, but I can tell you we had a probably a Komatsu 230 here. That rock is 25 feet long. 25 foot long stone. <laughs> the tips of the bat. Oh my goodness. Look at that. What an awesome stone though. And these are layered in. There's another one that, if you look underneath here, this is... Very cool. Look at this little grotto here and how natural of a waterfall. It's awesome when we have a slope to work with. So that must be Mike. This is Mike. Okay. And who's this? That's Zuzu. Zuzu. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, Mike? The pond guy, Greg. Very nice, nice to meet you. I enjoyed reading about this and seeing the pictures when this house was built in 2010 and the water feature was 2011, huh? That's right, exactly. Was this your idea, your wife's idea, both of yours? It was mine to start off with, but of course we always take input. 
we had a lot of inspiration from just sitting out on the site for a couple of years ahead of time. Uh huh. I mean, actually, ten years. Cause we lived at the little house at the foot of the hill there. And How much property do you have? We've got twenty-two acres. Nice, beautiful. You know, with the topo the way it was and everything, we just cold Sean in. I said we had something sketched out. I went away for a few weeks and then came back, and it was a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> this is your daughter. Yeah, that's my daughter, Mary. Hi, Mary, the pond guy, Greg. <laughs> nice to meet you, Greg. This is absolutely beautiful. I've come up with a name for this, Sean, and it was based on a Frank Lloyd Wright design. What do you think it would be called? Falling Water. Falling Water. In Pennsylvania. This house is built on this, a Frank Lloyd Wright. It was an inspiration for us. Well, there you go. I'm from Pennsylvania originally. Okay. Well, this is quite unique. I would imagine that every single human being that ever comes to your house is like, oh my gosh. Uh, they are. How many people think it's natural? Good number. Yes, it looks I, natural. Actually, the water was just coming out of the ground here originally. We just diverted it. Well, I thought that these slabs like were existing. I didn't realize that Sean had put them in. They're so giant. It was something. We piled up the rocks and he sorted through them. So these rocks came from site? Just about wow. everything. Yeah. When you were building the house. Yeah. That is incredible. So do you enjoy this hobby too, Mary? The fruition. Uh -huh. you know, I just love being able to come out here and whenever we have friends over, as you'll see when you walk around, no matter where you're standing, you can see falling water. Yeah, well, there you go, falling water. That's the way Sean and April designed it. Another thing I really like about it is that because it was designed with native plants, you can't really tell what are weeds and <laughs> yeah it, it's organic it's organic yes and the grandkids swim in here oh you got to be the coolest grandma and grandpa ever I just to make sure that the rocks stay outside the pond rather than <laughs> they like to throw them huh <laughs> well and those are some gigantic water hyacinth down there you probably have to pull those out of there they grow so big huh well, those are aprils growing those out like that wow that is absolutely huge And if it wasn't cloudy, I bet you the views and the vistas here is phenomenal. Oh my gosh, it's you can see yeah. over to the White Mountains. Yes, I know something about the White Mountains. In fact, <laughs> I went hiking in the White Mountains thanks to this guy and almost died on the Presidential Traverse up on Mount Washington. This guy almost was indirectly revolved in my death. Okay, so here we are inside this beautiful home that Mike designed and built. And this was a key figure in the design was being able to look out and hear and see that. <laughs> Just incredible. I love, because we're elevated here, you got a perfect view of everything. Yeah, look so at the, that. the whole idea was to have like a platform, you know, where you could just stand and take in basically 270 degree view. It is absolutely spectacular. That is a great design. I love it. What we're looking at here is a 15 by 20 pond. This is integrated, has stone steps to go down in here. To the right here is an intake over here. And over this area here is the deep section. It goes down to about three and a half feet at the bottom here. So that's a deep section. The thing that's really interesting is this is well grown in. We did the landscape here and everything, but the rocks on this job were just amazing. Most of them were dug out of the foundation hole, believe it or not. This is one singular rock. It's shaped like a butterfly. I don't know if you can see that. There's a part of it that swirls down underneath and curls back around, but just really unique rocks. Some of these slabs on this job rock, one of them was 13 by 25 feet. We have a massive machine here moving them, and it even had trouble moving them just because they were so large and massive. But when I bring you around to this side, you really see the magnitude of the stone, how it's integrated into the stream. So this is probably a 50 foot stream coming down here. This rock comes all the way back down. Part of it's underneath the grass, and then it 
continues here. And then you see this portion here. These are just massive rocks. This thing just keeps on going. This is cantilevered out. This is the part that's exposed and that's built into the hillside probably another eight to 10 feet. And then they're, they're layered over the top to make it look like a natural stone outcropping. Just take a walk up the stream real quick. This is that one butterfly shaped rock. And as you can see, part of it pours right down and curls back around underneath and actually shoots out below the waterfall over here. And we made a pooling area here where the water pools up coming off of this portion of the stream. We wanted this to make this broken up so you would have to kind of investigate and walk around here to see all the different parts of the stream. So that's one rock that you're looking at. This finger that comes out here and this finger here, all one rock. Really, really unique. It's like a sandstone blend here in Vermont. We did different things here. You can see there's parts and pockets that drop down in so that it's not just a bland stream waterfall. And then we had pockets of water that kind of go up into this little cave area down here. If you look, these ledges are overhanging that we put in here. But the plants here have just really come into it. And this thing looks like it's been here all the time. So that 50 foot stream continues up. This is a waterfall that comes out of the 11 by 16 pond. What I wanted to show here is kind of the drizzling moss effect that you see in nature a lot of times. You see how the water just kind of drizzles through the moss and then there's a little channel that falls down. This is a little tributary. You kind of add on to the side of the main waterfall and it provides a lot of interest for different aquatic plants and it just naturalizes it really well. And the water clarity here is just amazing. So in combination with both the wetland filtration and the long stream and the flow, this water quality just stays amazing throughout the season. A lot of ledge outcropping here. All of these pieces were added into the landscape and planted. So it looks like this thing was just carved from nature right through the ledge. And it's all wrapped right around this main living space of the home. So that as you gaze across the top of the pond, there's mountains all the way along the whole periphery of this property that you can see. So really kind of an amazing property to work with, some amazing rocks and just a great landscape. It's fun seeing an 11 year old aquascape ecosystem pond with all of the plants and vegetation grown in. And I will never forget this stop because I literally believe it's like falling waters. It's literally the modern day version of a Frank Lloyd Wright home. The fact that they designed their house around this pond or designed this pond around this house, this is what living the aquascape lifestyle is all about. This is exactly why I do these vlogs to inspire more people to do cool stuff like this. If you're interested in living the aquascape lifestyle, check out the link below to find a certified aquascape contractor by you. I love my job.